In order to complete your text alignment assignment, you will need to open your text alignment document from Canvas, enable the editing, read the instructions on each, in each paragraph, align the text as it tells you to in both paragraphs and in the lines throughout the page. Make sure you save your document in your Word subfolder on your desktop with the file named text alignment dash your first name and your last name. Also, don't forget to insert your blank three column header with your first name in the your first and last name in the first column, your block in the second column, and the name of the assignment in the last column. Save your work and then submit it on Canvas. So click text alignment document. Then you will open it from the bottom of the screen. Enable your editing. Click File, Save As. You may need to scroll up to click Desktop. Double click on your School Documents folder. Double click on your Word subfolder. Click twice so that the text, the words text alignment are no longer saved. And then type your first and last name, which should begin with a capital letter each, this is a proper noun, then save it. Then you read your information and follow the instructions. Text alignment refers to how the text is positioned on the page. The text alignment buttons are on the home ribbon. They are in the paragraph grouping. To change the alignment of the text, you need only to make sure that your insertion point, or cursor, which is the line that indicates where you're typing is somewhere in the paragraph that you want to change and then click the alignment the appropriate text alignment command text that is right aligned is flush on the right margin which means right against the right margin which leaves a ragged edge on the left side right aligned text is generally used only for creative purposes, although it is often used to right align the date or other information on a letter or document. Sometimes you will see a text that is right aligned in magazine advertisements or poems. Right align this text. Right align your second paragraph by clicking the right align command in the paragraph grouping. Text that is left aligned is flush with the left margin, which leaves a ragged edge on the right margin. Most books, letters, and reports are often aligned to the left. So make sure that this text is left aligned. Notice that the left aligned command is already selected in the paragraph grouping, and we know this because it has an orange square around it. When you center align text, the word processing program automatically places the center of each line in the center of the page. This leaves a ragged looking edge on both sides of the page. The ragged edges are a mirror image of each other. Center align text is generally used for creative purposes such as poems or flyers. Center align this paragraph, align the title of the page in the center, so center align and then go back up to where text alignment activity is and center align it. Justified text is what you see in the newspaper, many magazine articles, scriptures, and newsletters. When you justify the text, the word processor adjusts the spacing of each line so that the edges on both sides are flush. It makes a nice neat column of text with straight lines of white space in between them. Justify the text in this paragraph click the justify command in the paragraph group. Then each line, read the instruction and follow it. This text should be left aligned. Click the left align command. Align this row of text in the center of the page. Click the center align command. Now right align this line of text. If you work for a newspaper agency, you would need to justify, justify this line of text. Justify only works when the line is complete or goes all the way across the page. Right align this line. Left align, left again, center align, right align, center align, and justify. 
Here's a line to justify. Notice that when you justify a line of text, the last line of the paragraph is left aligned instead of spread out across the page. Now save your document again. Don't forget to insert a blank three column header by clicking type text, put your first and last name, each of which should begin with a capital letter. Then put your block, make sure you capitalize the beginning of block. In the third column, you put the name of the assignment, which in this case is text alignment. Close your header footer, click save in your quick access toolbar. Go to Canvas, click Submit Assignment, click Choose File, go to Desktop, find your School Documents folder, double click on it, double click on your Word subfolder, then double click on your Text Alignment file and click Submit Assignment. Then you are done with this assignment.